Aguna Swedro is the capital of Aguna West constituency. The constituency is largely rural, except for Aguna Swedro, which is per urban and very active in terms of commercial activities. Aguna West is divided into five sub districts comprising Swedro, Nyakro, Abodom, Bobikuma, and Nkum. According to the 2010 Population and Housing Census, it has a population of about 115,000. 358. Agriculture is the major economic activity of the people of Aguna West and it engages more than 64% of the population. 36% of the population is engaged in the trading or services sector. The Aguna constituency has been described as a swing constituency, having been won at different times by the two main political parties, the NDC and the MPP. Parliamentary elections in the constituency have always been a fierce battle between the two since 1996. The current Member of Parliament, who is also the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Cynthia Mamley Morrison, contested the 2016 parliamentary elections on the ticket of the MPP and beat the NDC's Charles Obeninkum with a total of 32,770 votes, representing 58.03%. Charles Obeninkum managed 32,423, representing 41.48%. The 2020 parliamentary elections promises to be a keenly contested one as the NDC is presenting Paul Ufori Amwa, a candidate who the party believes appeals to the youthful population of Aguna West and can wrestle the seat from the MPP. Cynthia Morrison, on the other hand, believes her track record in the constituency will speak for her. I have a calendar here. This is not green book. This is where we stand. The business advisory center is here. These are structures. These are school blocks that I have put up. The furnishing, I have furnished almost every school. All my secondary schools have been furnished. Board bed and the, the chairs and everything. We've put structures in place. We have school. We've given our security motorbikes to work with. We have built community centers various places. We go to Nyakro, all our roads are done, with the exception of the main road that was under construction that the contractor has to come back to site. All our inner roads are done. We go to the Zongo. For the first time in the history of Aguna West, Zongo has seen their road tarred, all their roads tarred. We have the market shared for the market women to sell in. We have community centers in my villages and even in Shredru, Jenho, Bebianiha, Mahonji, we have a market for them. You go to um, Shredru, we have put up ultra modern toilet facilities, both in Shredru, Abodom, all the electoral areas. I have done better than any MP in Aguna West. I am not bragging. They, they, you go around yourself. I see it as any other normal contest that we are going in for. Uh, yes, he is a gender minister, a member of Youth and Sports Committee, Privileges Committee member, but then you ask yourself, what has been the relevance of all this position in our constituency? Absolutely nothing. Yes, so um, it's a contest though, but then I don't see it to be, uh, I mean, a, a tight contest as such. I mean, we are working hard, no complacency. We are working extremely hard, especially during these few days left. We are working extremely hard to rescue our teaming youth whom we were expecting that they were going to benefit from various programs and initiatives based on the um, uh, committee our MP is on. But unfortunately, uh, it turned out to be the other way around. No complacency yet, but then I'm there. I'm only waiting for my swearing in on 7th January because the abysma, we cannot see ourselves being under this bondage for the next four years. In recent times, there has been topical issues on board for discussion in the constituency after the NDC's parliamentary candidate was allegedly accused of hatching a plot to assassinate his competitor, Cynthia Morrison. Paul Amwa has denied the allegations and says it will not in any way affect his chances in the elections. I was wondering how issuing a check to somebody will be interpreted as the person contracting somebody to go and kill. Uh, I had my own personal security, of which, I mean, I, I don't think I'm banned from having personal security. 
And then due to my schedules on that week, I was very busy. So I gave them the check that the following day, go and cash it, pay your hotel bills, your feeding things, everything from it. So we finished with these elections. You know, we are in the political period, so I must take up. The next moment you go, you arrest them. And then within less than 24 hours, it's everywhere plotting to kill. Where are your evidence? What are you standing on to say we are coming to kill? And the next moment you are in the market telling people that you have not taken any matter to court. But then what were you at the police headquarters to do? To play or to do what? You went there to report an incident. And what did you write? That people are plotting to kill you. So you have to provide evidence. Is the evidence the check I gave? Or which one is the evidence? Cynthia Morrison also spoke to City News about the alleged plot on her life. I got the information that the people who were look after my life, I did not even believe it. But when I sat down and my heart just leapt, I said, I'm like, wait a minute, let me call the security. So I called the BNI, I called the police, and I showed them exactly what they told me. The guy who spoke to me was in the hotel. He said he was out of the door when he heard the guys in the room talk. So he called me. It's not that I sent somebody or the police had an information. I had and called the police. They went there. I gave them the room numbers. Lo and behold, they went to the rooms and they found the guys there. They found them with knives and checks. I didn't know from the beginning that they had checks with them. But when they went to the police station, I asked my guys to follow to the police station. They went to the police station. And then the gentleman, the NDC gentleman, came there to bail them that they are his boys. And then they told me they had knives with them and checks. So I asked that they take pictures of it for me. How do you give people 10,000 who come to visit you? And so it's not something that I frame him. How do I frame him up? The constituents, who are largely engaged in agriculture and trading, spoke about the challenges they face in their work and the changes they look forward to seeing after voting. Nigeria for the supporters of the two main parties, they are both optimistic about their chances. Uh, I think we have a, a realistic chance uh, of uh, winning this seat, uh, largely uh, because of uh, the monumental failure of the incumbent MP. We are giving our very best and uh, definitely, I don't know, if they, we know we are going to win this seat for the NDC. He has been an assembly man before. He has worked very hard for the constituency. Um, he has also done so many things for the constituency, even though he is not an MP yet. So we believe with this kind of uh, color, but the kind of person he is, the kind of links he has, I believe um, he's more poised on creating opportunities for the youth rather than buying them with 50 cities and um, rice and oil. As you enter Swedo, you can see there is no constituency around Central Region that has developed infrastructure than Aguna West. She's winning, no two ways about that. She's winning because she's worked three and a half years looking at her performance. People have come, MPs have come, and this just uh, three and a half years, she's, she's really worked and I'm so proud of her and I know she's going to win again. And the, this time the margin is going to be very wide. The choice is left for constituents in Aguna West to decide whether they want to give the incumbent MP, Cynthia Morrison, four more years to continue, or whether they want Paul Ofori Amwa, the NDC's candidate. Calvin Stete, City News, Aguna West.